He had a match with Scott Steiner. Yeah. Dan Moff. Can you imagine? Same, Dan Moff that same weekend too. Yeah. I mean, um, was it, or did you have like a life insurance policy? You were trying. I to called pay? it. I called it my. I, I'm not. I ain't dead yet. Week or tour. It was just WrestleMania weekend. I wanted to do these crazy matches, and I was like, man. And then by the end of it, by Sunday, I was like, I, I shouldn't have done that. Like I yeah. just. But it was fun and. I don't know. I can knock it off my bucket list. Right. And, and I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that not happening ever again. Now those good are good guys weekend. to work with though. Right. Yeah. Nick, yeah. Nick Gage is always, he's, he would hate anyone saying it. I'm sure, but he's such a sweetheart. Just nice a guy. sweetheart yeah. of a he, man. He a great guy. Yeah. Like just a, a good human. Yeah. Yeah. We had him a couple of times and I was so, yeah. It was so great to talk to him. It really was. Oh, you know what? We need to have him on the show, Tony. Oh man, he would be great. Yeah. He I think he's just he's one of those guys that now he's just happy to still be here. Like yes. really. He I, truly I would is. imagine so. Yes. Yeah. He truly is happy to be here and happy that people care about him, which makes people care about him more. And you can feel Absolutely. that. Him. I went up to him and talk him about how glad I was he was here and how I've seen some of his crazy stuff and how I've enjoyed it, which is a shoot. I have, I've seen his crazy stuff. I enjoyed it. And it meant so much to him and it really did. And he let me know how much it meant to him. So, and it was, you could tell it was, uh, he was authentic. It was There's a video of him and we were talking about William Regal, him and Regal talking. And it's, it's an that interaction at our event in Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's right. Yeah. That's where it was. And it was an interaction that, I mean, you'd never dream of ever happening. And it's just so cool that both of them were happy to meet each other. Like, yeah. that's why I love this, man. I talk about it all the time. I love doing this still to this day because it's just fun. And the interactions are, are just great every time. He he was yeah. nervous to go meet Regal. He said, Connor, do you think it'd be okay if I said hello to Mr. Regal? And I go, what? <laughs> he goes, I just wanted to make sure it was okay. And I go. Dude, you don't have to ask permission. Go say what's up. And he goes, Why? Well, I wasn't sure. And I go, What do you mean? You're fucking Nick Gage. Go say hello. It's fine. He didn't. And what if you would have said no? <laughs> right. I guess I mean, he's trying to be deferential, not to me, but of Mr. Regal. Like, what if he doesn't want to be bothered? I go, No, he's great. Just go say hello. It's fine. And of course, Regal was Regal. Pleased yeah. to meet you. I don't think Regal had seen much of his stuff. I don't think he consumes that, but you know, he's nice to everybody. He at least knew the name. You know what I mean? How yeah. could you know the yep. name? Prestigious champion right there, Conrad. No doubt about it. Oh, brother. Here comes Batista. God, look at them, brother. Look at those. Uh, those are like Road Warrior Hawk traps. Yeah, that's a big boy. Yeah. Boy, he's had a great career after wrestling, hasn't he? Unreal, Unreal. yeah. The nicest guy ever too. our, uh, our friend, Corey Ryan Forrester had an opportunity to meet him and said, he just, the real life Dave could not be cooler. The yeah. best. It's amazing that wrestling attracts so many cool people. And then, you know, unfortunately what makes the news is a couple of shitheads. Yeah. And that's what the, that's what they want. I mean, but that's, that's exactly that, get, that gets clicks and that's what they want. Nice things never get clicks. Positivity doesn't get clicks in 2024. What what got the most clicks during the Super Bowl? It was the the confrontation between oh Kelsey and Andy oh, Reid. Kelsey Andy and Andy Reid. Yeah, yeah. That's what the, that's what everybody was hanging their hat on, and that had and, fucking nothing to do with the and game. People wanted the Chiefs to lose because yeah. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. That's, that's why they wanted the Chiefs to lose. I know. So dumb. Like. Because by the way, there's all these football fans who are hating on Taylor, and it's like, what'd she do, bro? She's supporting her boyfriend and going to the games. Blame the TV stations they're showing her. That ain't her fault. And making that team a crazy amount of money, like, yeah. and the network, and the NFL. And and the the NFL. NFL. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I just don't think it's fair, you know, for them to be angry at Taylor. It's like, dude, she went to a game. Like, we've all done that. Like, what'd she do? Yeah. Nothing. That's yeah, people are stupid. So here it comes, man. You know, how nervous are you when you hear Vince's music kit? You're under the ring. You got the headset on. You're in your full gimmick. You got your belt on. Yeah. Going through my head and going, 
I didn't know how big this story would be. I truly didn't. And it was the week after this night. It was the next TV where Stephanie McMahon comes up to me and she pulls me aside and she goes, Hey, can I, can I talk to you for a second? I said, of course, obviously she goes, just so you know, this is going to be huge. And I go, yeah, she goes, yes, this is going to be awesome. And it's going to be fun. And it's going to be a really, really good ride. Let's have fun with this. And I was like, okay, here we go. Buckle up. And it was just, but I, at this point I was like, again, because I always thought the sad thing is like with WWE with stuff getting, you know, you know, uh, uh, pitches getting denied and ideas yeah. getting canceled and that you, you go week to week sometimes with a, I'll wait if it happens kind of attitude. And it, so I was like, okay, this can last a week and then it'll be done. No, it, it was the biggest thing that ever happened to me. Look at all the people that I guess they're pulling all the boys out of the locker room here. Everyone. Yeah. Or even hacksaw. I mean, it's such a crazy visual because you just well, saw everyone from Cody Rhodes to CM Punk to hacksaw Jim Duggan out there at the same time. Like what? How Can't are these guys ever in the same company at the same time? But they were. Yeah. I just, I just saw Mark Henry silly ass out there. I have a lot of fun with Mark. Good God. He makes me laugh so much. What was y'all's go-to on the road? Your favorite restaurant to hit on the road when you were in the car with Kali and Mark Henry? Denny's. We would always do Denny's because Kali knew what he would order. Kali could order it himself. And then me being dumb and young, one week I ordered him a burger, not knowing his culture and can't eat. Oh, he goodness eat gracious. Cows. Yeah, right. I didn't fucking know. And he looked at me with, and I saw... I had the fear of death and I was like, no, I, I, okay. Now I get it. I understand. Yep. And it was, it was, it was a, a poor judge or lack of lack of knowledge on my point. He thought you were fucking with him. He didn't hundred percent thought I was, and I was not in the least bit. Yes. You should have been into it and had uh, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember uh, Kali's uh, go-to order? Was he uh was he a competition eater like Jeff Jarrett? Uh, five chicken breasts, two orders of rice, and it was like six eggs. That's, that's pretty strong. All right. Are we ready for this now? I don't think we have to track the whole thing, but, okay. uh, all right. Yeah. We'll definitely hit some hot spots. So you see the, okay. the entire locker room's emptied out. It looks like it's the world's biggest lumberjack match. <laughs> Vince McMahon is addressing the audience here. Oh, yeah. And of course. They've teased the big reveal. Um, what's, uh, are your parents, I mean, did everybody get to make the show? Is your dad there? Yeah, my dad, my grandpa, because those were always my two biggest supporters were my dad and my grandpa. And they got them awesome seats, like second row on hard cam side. And like, it was just, but then the cool thing was like my dad, the next day, I mean, he was, he worked for the street department in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And so his buddies at the street department went, oh, is there something you got to tell us, Eric, that you've been telling us wrong the whole, this whole time kind of thing. They were giving him a hard time because they saw the reveal on, on wrestling, which man, it's just a, a, I look back at this and this is, this is probably like only the the third time I've ever watched this. 